Stephen, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Now, this year is a, a big one for the PFA. 50 years of the Players Player of the Year. You won in 05, 06. Where does winning PFA Players Player rank for you among all the things you won? Well, I think any individual accolade, if it comes from uh, the people that you're competing against, um, from your fellow peers and your professionals who know what it takes and how hard it is to you know, perform consistently at the top, I think it's extra special. Um, and obviously the amount of people and the amount of votes that go into it, I think to be to be picked as the number one above the rest of the competition, which is littered with world-class top individuals. You know, we're playing in the best league in the world. Um, every team has got individual players that are special. Um, I think it shows your own personal levels of consistency. So um, to be picked that year was, you know, very flattering and I was extremely honoured. So 2005, obviously an amazing year, win the Champions League. How much did that motivate you going into another season in a red shirt to put in the performances you did to win the award? I think the confidence and belief from a personal point of view, but also from the team. Um, I think it led us on to FA Cup glory the year after. It also led me on to another strong personal campaign. Um, yeah, the confidence and belief you get from winning such a... Um, you know, monumental trophy in the game. Um, you feel on a cloud for an awful long time, and I basically just ran that into the next season. And uh, I think the FA Cup final was probably one of my top three performances. Um, I definitely come off the confidence and belief I got from 2005, and I think it also led to a lot of individual awards. Um, this being the most special because it was voted for by the players, but a lot of individual stuff come on the back of a massive team performance and a massive team win. Going into games, obviously, we saw you lead Liverpool to wins, victories, cups. What was your mindset those seasons? Because they were arguably your most prolific, but also your most successful in a red shirt. Yeah, I think um, from the age of probably 18 to 22, I was evolving as a player, um, physically, my body, uh, my fitness levels, my professionalism was changing. I was becoming more focused and more driven. And then I think probably... 24 months before the Champions League, I, I felt like I was in the peak years. I think I peaked probably a little bit earlier than what people say, 24 to 28. I probably could feel that coming 22, 23. So around them years, I felt like um, the best I've felt physically, but also the most tuned in and the most focused I'd been throughout my career because I could feel like I can compete against most people that are out there. And that Gerard final, the FA Cup, does that take it for the highlight of your season, the year you won the award? Yeah, I think it was a it was a nice way to finish the whole calendar year. Really, you know, in twenty fifth of May two thousand and five, I win the Champions League, which is the highlight of my career. Um, and then within obviously twelve months, I probably posted the best personal performance of my career, uh, finishing that calendar year off. And that's probably the the twelve months of my career that would probably be the most special. Um, I scored a lot of goals, my role was evolving in the team, I was um, more attacking. Um, Rafa really took the you know, the reins off me that year, he was allowing me to get in the box as much as I could. Um, I was playing around some good individuals, we signed Fernando Torres just on the back of that season. Um, so, you know, that, the, the following three, four, five years after that, I felt in peak condition and you know, really flowing in terms of from a personal point of view. We've got a difficult bit now. Mm. This has been a, been an interesting part. We're going to look through all the previous winners of the PFA Players mm. Player of the Year and it's your job to mm. choose a 5 O's team, which is a wow. bit tricky. There's only two keepers who have won and to be honest, a lot of people have not gone with a keeper, so that's mm. up to you. We've got defenders, midfielders, attackers. Where are we well, I, think, I think you can see the attacking piles a lot thicker. Oh, Obviously, right. they but, get a lot also, of the Stevie, most... Just to, before we start, you've made the most amount of teams so far. Really? Previous wow. winners, which, wow. is, which is amazing. So, are we starting at the front or are we going to go with the um, defenders? No, I'll start with the defenders. I like to finish. Firstly, are you in? Or you, you get a sub No, as no, well? no, I don't go in. I never ever, <laughs> unless there's... <laughs> Not even the sub spot? No. All right. Um, so you get... In fact, yeah, I, I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll take myself on the bench okay. just to play with the five that I'm going to pick. Yeah. And with all due respect, I obviously grew up watching a bit of Peter Shilton, but um, Pat Jennings, is that? Yeah. Um, didn't really know either very, very well, only as a young boy, so I'm not going to pick a goalkeeper. Yeah. That'll allow me to get an extra attacker in. That is your defender file. Okay. Grew up watching Paul McGrath, legend. 
Um, it'd have to be out of John Terry and Van Dijk because I played a lot of my career with John and he was a colossal player. So I, I think I'd, I would have to pick John Terry. Obviously, biasedly, I'd love to pick Big Verge because I think he's transformed Liverpool over the last five, six years and he's my favourite defender in the world right now. But, you saw but from, from my own personal experience, um, I played with John for England for over 10 years and um, he'd get in anyone's 11. Um, I know what he's all about up close and personal, so he'd be the central defender. John Terry's going in, yeah? yeah. We're on to the midfielders next. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Verge, but <laughs> still love you. Oh. On to the midfielders. Oof. Definitely have to keep Roy Keane out. Peter Reid, no. Oof, he he's only subbed you out for De Bruyne last minute because he had too many reds well, in his team. Oh, Cantona would be in that list, but I never really played against him. Cante, yes, but I think there's better. Oh, wow. It's got to narrow it narrow down okay. to how many we've got there. Four, five? Four, five. I'm going to try and keep it to people who I either played against. Yeah. Never really played against De Bruyne, although I think he's the best midfielder in the world right now. Yeah. So we'll definitely need to get that in, yeah? Yeah, keep that in. Because I, lo I love De Bruyne. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go for Roy Keane because I learned a lot off him watching him yeah. and competing against him. Even though he was a massive rival, I think for a long time he was the strongest, if not one of the best two number six hold midfielders or box to box midfield as I played against so I definitely had a really At different ends of your career, how did you prepare to face Keane? To be honest with you, I, I never really played against him in my peak yeah. years. I played against him in his peak years. Um, some games I found really challenging and tough. You know, he was at his physical best. Uh, he was a leader, he had a lot more experience. I felt like I always competed extremely well against him. Um, it would have been a much more interesting battle from my point of view yeah. if I was in my peak as well. Um, but he's someone who dominated the Premier League level for so long. Um, real challenge and a real experience to play against him and someone who, as a footballer, I've got the most respect for. Now the fun part, top end of the pitch. It always is the fun part, isn't it? you still got three spaces on your team. You've got to can pick up a hell of so a So I'm going to keep it, keep it again to people who are played against or with. With all due respect, I think that's only fair. Teddy did a bit. Mark Hughes, no. Oh. He's in. <laughs> Straight in, yeah. Straight in. Go on to Thierry in a little bit. Gary Lineker, my hero growing up. The King. Oh, might have to break the code. Stevie, I don't know if you've actually kept, you've kept more than you got rid of there. This is tough. Thierry Henry's in, isn't he? He's in, got him. He's in. Although we've got 0203 Henry or 0304 Henry. Both good, were they not? Yeah, he scored a few more goals this year, but this was the 20 assist year. Let me see, turn that round. No, I remember that, that here, this, this so. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to decide it anyway. I'm going to have to keep people that I played with, yeah, just yeah. to keep the trend. Barnes, Rush, and Daglish were all my favourite players growing up. <sighs> Who have we got there? Wayne. Wayne, Bergkamp, Ronaldo. <laughs> Shira Suarez, oh my god. Got two spots. There's five into five into two. Well I'm gonna pick a number ten and a number nine, I think. Shrink thinking strategically, I like it. Loved him, but definitely have to put Wayne Rooney in as a ten. Was it like England days, knowing you had Wayne to rely on and, and play with? Well, he was the best player in the country for, for a long time. He burst on the scene very young, uh, phenomenal player, extremely bright, football IQ off the scale, um, physical beast. Uh, always felt like you had a chance of winning with him in your team, so that's the sign of a special footballer. Now we're just um, looking for that nine. Yeah. 
I've gone for Wayne over and Aldo, not on just ability equals a play. I'm gonna have to go biased. Yeah. Best number nine this country has ever seen, in my opinion. Suarez takes the last spot. Yeah. It's a hell of a team. Can I see that? Hmm? See, can I see the yeah. team? Quite like to look at that. <laughs> so you got John Terry at the back. Yeah. Roy Keane just in front. Rooney down one side, Sierra. And then a certain Stephen Gerrard off the bench. That's not bad. Happy with that? I'd probably pick myself before Roy Keane, but... <laughs> you can swap him out. He can, he just, can come on the I'm bench. i stay humble and yeah. put myself on the bench. Uh, Stephen, again, congratulations for winning the PFA's Player of Cheers. the Year. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. I'm not yeah. sure that gets beat, are you? <laughs>